right on time. I re-evaluated all the evidence. It took every resource I had, but the final answer is clear. Ularu is the mole. So this clears imaging of wrongdoing. Good. Yes. You made the right call. I've briefed Masako and discussed her plans on handling this. While we both agree Ularu is guilty, we need irrefutable evidence before presenting this to the board. For now, we lead everyone to believe that Imogene was the mole, and the situation was dealt with. I can understand the need for deception, but it does come at quite a cost. Imogene is a resourceful woman. I have no doubt she's in a safe house of her own design. In fact, she probably sees this as a paid vacation. My guess is she's lounging on a couch somewhere, binging all those movies she hasn't had time to watch. It's a means to an end. We'll make sure Imogene is properly exonerated and welcomed back with open arms if this plays out our way. Masako has tasked Ularu with writing the program to bring down Infinity LTD. We believe she'll take the chance to incriminate Masako within the program. So this could provide the evidence we're looking for. You will be tasked with the assignment to infiltrate Infinity. So before you go, I want you to bring that program to me. Good. Once Ularu believes she's properly deflected any suspicion, I've no doubt she'll be bold enough to hide something within whatever program she writes. Now, let's attend a meeting. We called you all together to discuss a recent security breach. We discovered a mole within the company who leaked vital information about Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. You've got to be kidding me. Just don't tell me it's Vina. I think we've all noticed she's not here. Before you speculate any further, no, it's not Vina. The guilty party is Imogene Salzo, much to my disappointment. Our operative here obtained the evidence to confirm it. Dalton, how does something like this happen? Imogene is highly trained. Ularu can even speak to that. We demand the best. So that's the threat we deal with. I may have well-trained operatives, but security is your responsibility, Dalton. This is a huge failing on your part. I accept the responsibility, but let's not forget. The mole has already been exposed and dealt with. Of course, thanks to another of my operatives. Watch me. Imogene's been dealt with, so bickering is pointless. All I care about is reacquiring our property and what this might be costing us financially. Vina is completing the internal NeuroAmp prototype as we speak. Our operative will receive the implant, infiltrate Infinity LTD, and obtain any and all research. I have it on good authority, the experimentations they've done to replicate the missing pieces of our work 
have resulted in fatalities. I can't imagine the mess their legal department has on their hands. If I may make a suggestion, we should give this evidence to David at SSNN. It's the best neutral method of releasing this information to the general public. That'd make my job easier. David it is, then. Masako, the internal neuroamp is ready if you want to send down the candidate. I hope you're ready for this. And that's precisely why I know we can count on you. Vina will be waiting for you in the Neuroamp division in R&D. Once you're done, meet me in my office. Be ready to discuss the details of your next assignment. my lucky candidate. I hope you're ready to embark on one amazing journey. The internal neuroamp is basically the next leap in our line of influential amplifiers. It gives the user dominion over a less dominant target, meaning you can heavily influence another person's thoughts and actions. Technically, that remains to be seen. It's not not legal, but those decisions will be left up to a higher power who is neither you nor me. Let's not get carried away there. That terminology is a bit heavy-handed. So, are you ready to get started? Neurosurgery is my specialty. I've performed more operations than I can count on a wide variety of brains. So I like to think that I'm wildly overqualified. Really, I could do this in my sleep. Oh, don't worry. That's not on the agenda. Now, just a few details before we begin. Obviously, we'll be putting you under. I'll be making a small incision in the back of your skull where the internal neuroamp will be fitted. The whole procedure should only take three to four hours with little to no downtime afterwards. Provided DeMarcus got everything entered correctly. Did I not just say I quadruple check the numbers? You know I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, I've got to make sure my patient is reassured. There's little to no risk, assuming your brain is typical and you don't have any adverse reaction to the anesthesia. First sign of trouble, we back out and start evaluating other candidates. Of course, we've got, what, five PhDs between the two of us? Six, but who's counting? 
All I'm saying is that you're in good hands. Now, just lie down on the table once you're ready, and we should be good to go. This has not all been a horrible miscalculation, then. Alright, let's get this party started. finally up. The operation was a success, obviously. Once you're able to refocus, let me know how you're doing. Hey there. So, how are you feeling? You look good? That's exactly what we want. Just a couple quick notes before using the internal neuroamp. First, you can only influence one person at a time. And second, the effect is temporary, so be prepared if you use it in a combat situation. Let's just say it varies based on the user. Some people have greater mental capabilities than others, which would increase the duration. Great. Now let's test this sucker out. Demarcus has graciously volunteered, for science, he says. Our preliminary testing was rigorous enough that there's little to no risk involved here. The biggest unknown was finding the perfect compatible alloy for the implant. We've had the tech itself working externally for quite some time. That's the spirit. Demarcus loves being hands-on and experiencing things on his own. It's probably why he's the second most published scientist here, after me. Just head up the stairs nearby to the observation deck.
as an observer, the effect is quite unnerving. It is hard not to immediately worry about the implications. excited about seeing how the experiment would go. The next, I had a brief moment of disorientation and figured I must have lost my train of thought. It felt eerily natural. And yes, I admit it, just as you predicted. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I can hardly wait to finish writing up my latest dissertation. And you owe me a hundred creds. I'll be keeping myself under constant surveillance now. I'm curious if... Any other side effects may manifest. So, tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? Uh, well, I'd leave that up for Alexis and Lyndon to decide. Compensation's not really my thing. Yes! Good. Hear that, Demarcus? That's two for two now. I heard. I heard. It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. It's truly remarkable tech. Those are the kind of edge cases that I let the board work out. Obviously, tech like this is going to come with its fair share of red tape. Hmm. Not at all. But I can imagine if I experienced disorientation like that, but regained my awareness in another room, it could be a bit jarring. We'll definitely be running some more tests in the future, though. So many situations to account for. Maybe that's the beauty of it. You'd never know. Uh, besides, the neuro um, isn't total control. If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. That being said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako wants to see you. It sounds like you have an assignment to complete, and Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to record. You're here. I wasn't sure how accurate Vina's promise of no downtime was going to be. Let's just hope her promise of no brain damage holds true as well. Now that you've been outfitted with the internal neuroamp, it's time to put that tech to work. We're sending you into Infinity LTD. Lucas Drexler is about to learn exactly why you don't steal from Reugen Industries. All right, Yuko has provided a layout of Infinity LTD. You have two options for this assignment. We'll be providing you with the means for both. Option A, you gain entry through their maintenance access on the roof. Option B, we give you an assigned identity and arrange a meeting for you.
Option A, you need to remain under the radar the entire time. Option B, you have a slight cover that may give you the opportunity to talk your way to your objectives. Just hope those acting skills don't get you caught or killed. Now, depending on your preference, you'll either find yourself in the maintenance hallway or the marketing department. From there, you have three targets. First, you have Lucas Drexler's computer, located in his office on the executive floor. Second is Faye Sengsavan's computer, in research and development. And third, you need to obtain the prototype they are working on also in R&D. As you can see, you've several floors to traverse. So I hope you're prepared for an adventure. You'll only have free range on the marketing floor. Infinity may be cheap, but they know at least some level of security is needed in this business. That's what we're counting on. Now, I had Ularu create a program that you need to run on both Lucas and Faye's computers. I'll let her explain the details. You see, once we expose Infinity LTD, all of their data is going to come under intense scrutiny. We only want the public to know about their mercenary hires and unauthorized human trials, but Project Dominion needs to remain confidential. I've created an overseer program that will gather all the evidence we need, and at the same time delete anything relating to Ryujin and the internal NeuroAmp. Anyone who comes forward to defend Lucas would be prosecuted as either aiding or being an accessory to these crimes. They all know career suicide when they see it. As for Lucas himself, if he wants to speak up and add corporate theft to his laundry list of crimes, fine. But who's going to believe him? It is best to keep the public unaware of such a device. If the media were to draw their own conclusions, I'm certain they'd just create a panic among people. Controlling the narrative is of the utmost importance. Understood. Now we don't want to mess on this one. A body count will only distract from what we're trying to accomplish here. In fact, unless they're a master at being one with the shadows, I'd suggest you leave your friend behind. Lower the risk. Simon Rychek provided some useful info on how to evacuate civilians from the building. I'm sure you remember him from Sidonia. Infinity's maintenance crew is understaffed. It's only a matter of time before pressure gauges go unchecked and they have a massive issue on their hands. Once that pressure becomes too much, every floor in the building is going to suffer from gas leaks, setting off an automated alarm to evacuate the building. Simon was able to get a passcode for you to access their system's computer, so you can force the heating system to fail. I'm told security has masks to handle the situation, so the guards will still be stationed in the building. It's also possible they'll activate their building's defense system as well. You may run into a few automated turrets, so you'll still want to try and stay out of sight. If the information Simon provided is accurate, you can reach the control systems through a computer located in the maintenance area. It's a pretty convenient stop if you enter in through the roof access.
I'd highly advise you use it. This assignment isn't the time to test your abilities. The only thing you're out there to prove is that you can get this job done. We're also issuing you an operative suit. It should help reduce their ability to detect you. These suits are typically reserved for the senior ranks, but we want to reduce as much risk as possible. Just make sure you follow through on that statement. Once you've run the Overseer program and obtained the prototype, your final step is to deliver the slate to David Barron at the SSNN field office. If he asks questions, feel free to give him just enough information to pique his interest, but no mention of Ryujin or who you are. SSNN is used to anonymous tips. They'll do whatever verifications they deem necessary on their own to confirm the story. You and me both. So, any final questions before you go? Good luck, and be sure to report directly back to me when you return. Here's Simon's passcode, your operative suit, the Overseer program, and your cover identity. Your cover ID card is encoded with roof entry and elevator access. So that's your ticket in, either way. Don't screw this up, Skylar Lumen. A huge and suddenly spent no expense. With pleasure. So, let's take a look. Aha! The decryptions hit a snag. There's definitely something here. This is exactly what we needed. According to this code, Ularu intended to plant false evidence that would show Masako was working with Lucas. The moment you launched the Overseer program, a series of fabricated communication files would have been uploaded to the Infinity LTD network. One of them even frames Masako for encouraging Lucas to push for early human trials. So it is clear what she intended. Now all that is left is to decide what to do with this information. I'm going to copy the necessary files off this slate and issue you a new one. I want to keep this one intact, so Alaru can't dispute it. All right. Now, we finally have the evidence we need to prove Olaru's guilt. Then it is time we use it. There's no doubt. Should you have even noticed the upload, the program itself is designed to ignore any stop commands. It would have been too late. This evidence is indisputable. To deny it would be to admit involvement. And then we'd have a much larger problem on our hands. Just remain focused on your assignment. Without that falsified evidence, Ularu is in for a big surprise. 
I fully expect she'll be eagerly awaiting SSNN's broadcast, anticipating Masako to be accused alongside Lucas Drexler. Here's the new slate with the revised Overseer program. Let's get this assignment finished the right way. Don't wander into any restricted areas. This team could be huge for my company. Is this city meant to inspire or intimidate? Perhaps it depends on your reason for being here. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. belongs on your ship then if you don't see what you want feel free oh please take a look Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. Is it Gal Banker out of control? Ever wonder how the criminal... 
Welcome to Infinity LTD's corporate headquarters. All over the settled Hello. Did you have an appointment with us today? Ah, yes. From Lumen Interactive. The elevator here will take you to the marketing floor. Once you arrive, you'll want to talk to Ellis Ortiz. He's the receptionist there and will be happy to help you. Welcome to Infinity LTD's marketing department. Desi notify me that you are on your way. If you just have a seat, I can notify Miss Hart when you arrived. Okay. Hello.
You need to leave. Now. Computer systems. Where have they gone? This chance is not worth dying for. Something out there. It's gone now.
or else. that you are on your way. Hey, if you... Please, have a seat. Our waiting area is just to my right. I'll go notify Miss Hart that you are here. Feel free to use any of the facilities on the floor while you wait. The break room and bathrooms are just around the corner. Thank you. 
engaging suspect! We've got to hit the alarm! If you're lost, I suggest you head back to the lobby and speak to Desi.
always worth checking. It's important that the people of the United Colonies can trust their primary news source. Can I help you? Well, I'll be the judge of that. What's this so-called story about? Corporate greed claims victims once more. And you have evidence to support this claim. Perfect stranger or not, we won't air anything without some sort of hard evidence. I don't suppose you want to tell me how you got this evidence. I 
I figured as much. Maybe your friend here would care to comment? The friend has no comment. I see. Is there at least a name I can cite as my source? Why am I not surprised? As long as the evidence is adequate and verifiable, I expect it'll be aired within the hour, if not sooner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I obviously have some work to do. I am glad there is still a reliable source of news in the settled systems, though. It often travels significantly slower than light. that Aurora has built. I believe you were specifically told that we did not want a body count on this assignment. Phase death may be a pain point, but at least Lucas is still alive to face the incoming consequences. If only intent mattered. All the tools at your disposal, and yet here we are. I hope you at least attempted to use the internal neuroamp. And yet not useful enough to avoid a body count? Still, it's good to know the applications are proving themselves. So now it's just a waiting game for SSNN to break the news. Once the story airs, we have another board meeting scheduled to decide how to handle Infinity. Go ahead, Maeve. The SSNN broadcast has started. Shall I patch it through? Yes. Yes. Thank you. The murders are believed to be linked to a new investigation where Drexler would have been accused of numerous violations, including murder for hire, unauthorized human trials, and corporate theft. Authorities representing the UC and the Freestar Collective have been dispatched to a consolidated mining station and the clinic. Both locations are believed to hold numerous victims. Drexler's motivation appears to be an attempt to launch a new product based off stolen information from a competitor. The details on the project itself and the competitor have yet to be confirmed. This has been David Barron for SSNN. Perfect. This exposure puts Infinity right where we want them. The meeting will begin momentarily, but I want you to discuss the options we have with the other members. Infinity's net worth 
is about to hit rock bottom. So this gives us the opportunity to win a little more public faith. Quite right. The truth is, we'll be making evaluations. We'll shed any employees who don't make the cut, slowly but surely. By incorporating Infinity, we eliminate a competitor, get their best employees and contracts, and all while boosting our public perception. I suppose it is all very simple when you do not consider the impact on actual human lives. Just your bottom line. That's certainly our hope. Any employee with a sense of drive is sure to show themselves. Which is why I'd like you to talk to the board to convince them this is the right move. There are several who might disagree, and you have the perfect tool to help sway them. Good. You'll find most of the board members in their offices preparing. Vina is also here, waiting for the meeting to start. We'll need at least 50% of the vote to go our way. In the event of a tie, I will make the final decision. I trust you'll get it done. 